Hello everyone. Welcome once again to another video from Teachers Academy. Today let's talk about IELTS writing. This is Stanley here. Let's get started. For the IELTS writing, there are two task types that we need to note down. First is writing task 1 and second is writing task 2. So today we are going to talk about writing task 1. For the writing task 1, you will be first given a diagram. It could be a flow chart, a table, a process, a map. Sometimes you may even get a pie chart or a bar graph, a line graph. Sometimes you have a diagram of multiple graphs all together. Always remember for your IELTS writing, the structure is very important. You need to organize your answers in a logical order and put them in different topics in different paragraphs. The examiner will surely check your structure. So just make sure that your structure is perfect. There are four main paragraphs for your IELTS writing. Introduction, overview, body paragraph 1, body paragraph 2. Your introduction is basically the description of whatever the question is. IELTS usually gives the description to us but do not copy it paraphrase it write your own english so that your english may look more appropriate and authentic the overview is very very important this is the most significant part of your IELTS writing task 1 it is not too long but it involves all the key features of whatever you are writing you can write the overview after the introduction or you can write it after the body paragraph 2 at the end that is what i mean now the overview is not the conclusion so don't try to state your opinion just give a gist of whatever you are writing involving all the significant features next is the body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 here is where you actually write you give all the detailed information in both these paragraphs it's up to you how to structure both these paragraphs but you have to give all the dates and the numbers and the information that you want to give in both these paragraphs now coming back to the overview i usually write the overview after body paragraph 2 but there are some writers who write the overview after the introduction so that they do not run out of time but if you can manage time very well it's always best to give the overview after the body paragraph 2 and that is just my personal suggestion Now I have given you a structure on how to write your IELTS writing task 1. We talked about the introduction, the overview, body paragraph number 1 and body paragraph number 2. Now what you need to remember is that here you do not state your opinions. So try to avoid using phrases or words like I, my opinion, in my view and things like that. This is sort of like a third person perspective. Now you've gotten a gist of how to write your IELTS writing test. We'll come back with more videos so stay tuned. This is Stanley Vergeshaji from Teachers Academy.